Hey guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft Cold War Vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and doing WZ111 Model 134 with a crew of four. Dimensions you can see on screen now with the gun facing forward. It uh, has a length of 10.63 meters. Its role is a heavy tank, and the number built was none. This was more of a uh, concept tank rather than anything. Armaments include 122mm gun, two uh, MGs, and one Dishka. Uh, engine you can see right here, a total of 750 horsepower. And it performs at a max speed of 50 kilometers per hour. Anyways, guys, that's going to do for this, and enjoy the tutorial. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, scare 2 we here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the WZ111 Model 1-4 heavy tank. Now this vehicle here was a heavy tank that was developed by the People's Republic of China, the uh, PRC, during the 1960s but it was eventually cancelled in 1966 due to many mechanical problems. Uh, the vehicle itself, the Model 1 through 4, I believe is more of a uh, more of a kind of fictional uh, vehicle nonetheless. I know it's in uh, Wargaming and um, all that stuff. So I do believe it is a bit fictional. Um, the actual WZ111 uh, is uh, quite interesting to say the least and I'll probably do a tutorial on that as well but it doesn't even have a gun mounted to it uh, very weird to say the least anyways the uh, WZ111 uh, is uh, obviously in uh, wargaming and everything like that and this is the turreted version of it or whatever uh, as far as I know the actual WZ as I mentioned was basically just a prototype turretless um, and uh, all that stuff very interesting to say the least uh, but the Model 134 is actually a pretty cool looking tank. Definitely reminds me of a Soviet Cold Era main battle tank, or not main battle tank, but uh, just a heavy tank around this time as well, like the IS series of tanks. Uh, definitely has that uh, look to it. it, has the pike nose and the just the uh, you know, overall turret shape and everything like that that the Soviets had, which, I mean, is to be expected since both were uh, communist states and shared a lot of technologies. Um, but anyways, going ahead and uh, taking a look at the build overall, uh, one thing that's definitely interesting about the Model 1 through 4 is that it has uh, two machine guns on either side of the hull. Uh, very interesting for the front. Um, uh, very interesting design to say the least. So basically instead of having just one whole um, gun, you have basically two machine guns on the sides. Uh, there's also a uh, machine gun coaxial, which is very cool. And you also have a mounted gun on the top here. Probably, I would imagine, a Soviet Dishka or something of that sort. It looked very much so looked like a Dishka on the top. So I would imagine it's probably something like that uh, located on the vehicle. Uh, going ahead and uh, continuing on to around the turret. Just a lot of little details and stuff like that around it. Again, nothing too fancy for it. And then coming to the back, you have uh, some of the vents, all that stuff. Some detailing all, all around. Um, of course, some vents on the siding here and just some stuff here and there just trying to capture that detail and uh, get the look of the build while uh, doing it. And then on the very back, we have two external fuel tanks that are, are of course, attached to the rear here for, uh, you know, obvious, uh, you know, purposes, extra fuel or something like that. Um, but uh, overall, that's pretty much the build. Um, I think it came out really good and hopefully you guys do enjoy. Uh, again, it's really nice to get a Chinese tank actually in here. Uh, we don't really have very many of those. Um, I don't think I've done a Chinese tutorial actually on this world ever, so it's pretty crazy to get one in here, and the WZ, is this is also a redo for that tank as well. Anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer 1. Now for layer 1, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by placing down a row 2 of narrow brick half slabs. After that row 2 of narrow brick half slabs, we're then going to place down a row 2 of narrow brick top slabs. Facing whatever direction we want the front of our tank to be, in this case our tank's going to be facing this direction here. So we're going to go ahead and have the narrow brick top slab going this way, like so. Just to kind of give you an idea of where we're working on on this vehicle, this is the left front of the vehicle right up here. So uh, if you're building this in a certain area, you can kind of take that into account when you're building this. So just make sure you guys got plenty of space for it and everything like that. And if you need to, at the beginning of the video, there are worth of dimensions. So you can refer back to those um, if needed. Anyways, once you have a good place to build it, and you guys are for certain this is the, you pick the spot you want to build it, we can go ahead and continue on. Now, we're going to then gonna go ahead <coughs> Now, to go ahead and continue on, we're going to place down a row of two of green stained clay. And once you have that done, we're going to place down a row of two of dark oak wood stairs, followed by a second row of two of dark oak wood stairs, uh, directly behind it. So you have the two stairs back to back. We're then going to place down an air row of two of green stained clay, and do the same thing with our dark oak wood stairs. So row two and a row of two. Green, two green stained clay blocks, our dark oak wood stairs again, two rows of two back to back. 
and then a narrow row to green stained clay. Now once you have that done, on the ends here of these rows of two, we're just going to take stone buttons and place them down like that to make them look a little bit more like road wheels. With that done, we then want to take our narrow brick half stabs, place down a row of two. We then want to place down a row of two of dark oak, or sorry, narrow brick stairs facing, of course, uh, the rear of the tank, or with their backs facing toward the rear. And then we're going to place down a row of two of narrow brick top stabs on the very back, like so. Now once you guys have that done, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, dark oak with top stabs, and we're going to go ahead and just go to our... Uh, our narrow brick stairs right here. We're going to place down one, two, and three slabs across. We want to go and then go up to the front here and go into this narrow brick half slab here. We're going to place down a narrow row three of uh, dark oak wood uh, slabs across. Then we just want to go ahead and take these slabs, go ahead and place them all the way across here, basically filling the space in the bottom here. And this is going to create the very bottom of your tank, or basically the uh, very bottom of the hole. With that done, we then want to go ahead and take our uh, narrow brick half slabs and uh, top slabs and all that stuff. And we're going to copy the same design we did over there for the tracks, just over here to this side. So against the same design, very simple. We're just going to copy it over and um, everything like that. So let's just go ahead and do that. Of course, if you need to, you can refer to the other side if you get a little stuck, since it's the same exact thing. Um, I know I'm going a little fast right here, but that's just because we already did uh, basically what we are doing over here on the other side there. And just like that, all the way to back. And again, don't forget your stone buns on the end of those rows of two of green stained clay. Now once that's finished, we're going to go ahead and take our dark oak wood uh, fence gates. We're going to place down one and two on the rear there like that. And then go up to the front here. We're not going to place down anything. We're going to leave it alone as is. Anyways, once you guys have that done, that's going to do it for layer one. And with that, we can move on to layer two. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to layer two. Now for layer two, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start by taking green stained clay blocks. And we're going to place down one and two on top of these narrow brick top slabs. Same thing over here on this side like so. Around these uh, green stink wave blocks, we're going to go ahead and place down a sign on the side and also two signs on the sides that are facing toward the front. And same thing over here on this side as well. Uh, don't put signs on the inside here because they're going to be absolutely useless. So uh, again, just place down the signs down the side. Once you have that done, we're then going to place down a dark oak wood slab here on either side, followed by a dark oak wood stair there in the very middle. With that done, we then want to take our green stink wave blocks. We're going to place down a row of seven that goes all the way across like so with a stone button on either end of the row like that. With that done, we're then going to place down a narrow brick top slab that goes back like this, followed by an upside down dark oak wood stair with its back facing toward the inside of the tank here. We're then going to place down one, two, and three narrow brick top slabs, a dark oak wood upside down stair, narrow brick top slab, dark oak wood upside down stair, one and two narrow brick top slabs, and a dark oak wood upside down stair like that going toward the rear. And of course, we're going to take our green stained clay and just run a row all the way behind it, all the way back to this narrow brick stair, or sorry, this upside down dark oak wood stair like that. And then we just want to go ahead and repeat the same process over here to this side. So an air brick up top slab, a upside down dark oak wood stair, one, two, and three top slabs, upside down dark oak wood stair, a uh, top slab, upside down dark oak wood stair, and one and two top slabs, and again a dark oak wood upside down stair like so. And then again your green stain clay running behind it all the way to the back here like so. Now once you get to this point right here, we're just going to place down a narrow row seven of green stain clay that goes all the way across. Followed by a stone bun on either side of that uh, row of seven. Then on the back here, we then want to place down uh, two green stinkway blocks on top of those two narrow brick top slabs. We're going to go ahead and take signs and just wrap it around the green stinkway blocks like so. Same thing over here. Um, just like that. Make sure you don't type on it like I just did. And take that and go all the way around like so. And then in between these uh, green stinkway blocks, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak with upside down stairs like that. And once you guys have that all complete, that's going to pretty much do it for uh, layer two. And with that, we can go ahead and actually real quick, uh, one last thing. We're going to go and place down two dark oak wood fence gates coming off the front here. I uh, like that, like that coming off those two half slabs there in the front. Anyways, with that done, we can now go ahead and move on to layer three. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer three. For layer three, we want to start off by going to these green stinkway blocks with the signs on them. We're going to go and place down two stone buns on top of them, just like that. After you have that done, we're going to go ahead and go back from this uh, stair here on top of this green stink block. We're going to place down a dark oak wood half slab on top of it. Then going back from that dark oak wood half slab, we just want to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair uh, like so. With that done, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, green carpets. We're going to place down a green carpet on those two green stink blocks like so. We then want to go ahead and take our uh, dark oak wood slabs. And we're also going to need to go ahead and grab ourselves a brick half slab as well uh, for the front here. Now coming off this stair here, we're going to place down one uh, dark oak wood half slab over to, over to the right side, followed by a brick slab, and then over here to this side, we're just going to place down one and two uh, dark oak wood slabs like that. Now with that done, we want to go ahead and go to our uh, 
we're actually going ahead and we're going to switch these two. So we're actually going to place down a brick slab here and a dark oak slab there. Sorry about that. And then we're going to place down an item frame on those two dark oak half slabs. And then in the item frame itself, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a glass block, uh, which we can just go ahead and grab from an item frame. We're going to place down a glass block in those item frames like so. We then want to take a dark oak wood fence gate, place down one opened up like that for the front lights. With that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of green stained clay behind that uh, stair like so. Followed by a dark oak wood stair on either side. We then want to place down a dark oak wood half slab. Coming off the dark oak wood stair on both sides and coming off that dark oak wood half slab, we want to place down an end rod like that for the two whole uh, mounted machine guns. With that done, we then want to go ahead and take our green stained clay on the back of the stairs. These two stairs here, we're going to place down a green stained clay block. Followed by a dark oak wood stair that goes out to the side like so. Again on both sides. With that done, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four green stain clay blocks back. Same thing over here, one, two, three, and four green stain clay blocks back, like so. Uh, we then want to go and grab ourselves some black wool because we're going to need it here because we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this and then one like that. Same thing over here on this side, dark oak wood stair and one like this. And on the insides of these stairs, we're going to place down some uh, black wool just like that to kind of fill in the space that these stairs would create if left open like so. We then want to place down a green stain clay block after that last stair, like so. And uh, we do kind of want to fill the space in. So in between these uh, black wool blocks, we're going to place down a row of three green stain clay. Same thing right here. And we're going to place down a row of uh, five of green stain clay, basically making a row of seven all the way across. And we're going to go, we're going to go ahead and again, grab ourselves some stone buttons and place it down on either end, like so. Now, when you get to this section here, we're going to place down a dark wood stair on both sides, followed by a row of five of green stain clay. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some polished andesite blocks. We're going to go ahead and take a uh, pol our polished andesite, place down a row of three across in the very center there, followed by a green stain clay block on either side. And then coming off the side there of the stairs, we just want to place down an item frame on both sides. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a red stained glass block, place it down on both sides, and then we're just going to grab ourselves a green carpet, place it down on top of those green two green stain clay blocks on the sides there. With that finished, uh, on along the back here, we want to go ahead and place down a stone bun on those on the green snake weight blocks on the very sides there. We're then going to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood stairs, also some spruce wood stairs. We're going to place down a dark oak wood stair in the center, spruce wood stair on either side, and then a dark oak wood corner stair on both sides, just like that. After you have that done, coming off the corner stairs, we're going to place down two green snake weight blocks, followed by stone buns on the sides here of these blocks on either side to make those two external fuel tanks. Again, those are optional. You don't have to have them. Uh, but uh, they do make a nice little detail addition if you do want to add them. And then the last thing we want to do is you just want to go ahead and place down two stone buns on, these, on the ends here of this row of four of green stained clay. So uh, just like that on both sides there to add again a little bit more detail. With that finished, that's going to do it for layer three. And with that, we can move on to layer four. Hey guys, I just want to go ahead and make one quick correction um, after uh, layer three. Now I know I said that uh, we're going to place down the end rods on both sides here. That's not true. It's actually only on the right side that the machine gun is located. I actually found this after when I was making the little beginning cinematic thing I do on my tutorials. Uh, so we're actually going to go and delete this end rod here and we're actually going to place down a green carpet in its place. Um, I do apologize for that little mix up there. Sometimes uh, you, you miss stuff like that. Um, but anyways, uh, hopefully that uh, fixes that and of course makes this thing as accurate as possible. And uh, with that, you can go ahead and continue on to uh, layer four. All right, guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer four. For layer four, we're going to go ahead and start off by taking our uh, dark oak wood stairs. We're going to place down a row of three of upside down stairs on top of this row of three of green stain clay full blocks. Come off the very center stair, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine of these uh, dark oak wood top slabs. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head, place it down the very end like so. And then we're going to go ahead and take our signs, place down a row of two of signs like this on these uh, two uh, top slabs like so, like that on both sides. Then coming back here to this side, on the left side, we're going to place down two signs right here on these first two top slabs that come off this upside down stair. Over here on the right side, we're going to place down an end rod coming off the stair, and then a sign on this dark oak with half slab like so. With that finished, we're then going to place down a row of three of green stain clay right behind those uh, dark oak wood stairs. Followed by an upside down dark oak wood stair on both sides, just like that. With that done, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a red stain, red hardened stain clay block. We're going to place down one like this on both sides. We're then going to place down a tripwire hook coming off the red stain clay blocks. We then want to place down one and two green stain clay blocks back, one and two, just like that. And then taking our mossy cobblestone walls, we're going to place down one and two, and then one and two, like that on both sides. 
Continuing on, we're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall back from this green stink, these uh, two green stink wheel blocks. And we also want to go ahead and just take our green uh, hardened stink wheel. We're going to place down one underneath those uh, uh, mossy cobblestone walls like that on both sides to fill that in. Now, in between these mossy cobblestone walls, we're just going to place down a row of three green stink clay. After you have uh, that done, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone brick half slabs and also some spruce wood slabs. We're going to place down one, two, and three. Stone brick half slabs back, one, two, and three. And then we want to grab ourselves some green carpet. We're going to go ahead and place down uh, one right here in the center, a spruce wood slab, and then a green carpet like that. Along the sides here, one, two, and three green carpets, one, two, and three. Then along here, we're just going to place down a row of five of green carpet all across that row of five of, um, of a green stained clay. After you have that done on the very back here, we want to grab ourselves some stone buns, and we're just going to place down two stone buns on those two green stained clay blocks, uh, just like that for, again, some detail. With that finished, that's going to do it for uh, layer four, and with that, we can move on to layer five. All right, guys, so moving on to layer five. Now, for layer five, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start by going on the front here on these first two tops, or these last two top slabs on the gun. We're going to place down one and two uh, wooden trap doors on top of them. After that, we're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five green carpets back, followed by one and two uh, wooden trap doors, of course, going back. We're then going to place down a dark liquid slab on the very end here, like so. Followed by, followed by a uh, zombie skeleton skull like this on your side. We're going to do a, a slight angle, not exactly 45, probably about a 30 degree angle uh, for both skulls like that going back. We then want to place down a row of three of green stain clay. We're, then again, we're going to place down a zombie head on your side. This one angled about the same, maybe a little bit more, more of a uh, angle here on uh, both sides. It's kind of up to you guys on exactly how you want to do it, but uh, you want it to look something kind of like that. So it kind of creates a little bit of a curve going all the way around. With that done, we want to go ahead and continue on. So we're going to place down a green stink weight block in the very center here, followed by a dark oak wood stair on the inner side of that green stink weight block. And then on the inner side of the dark oak wood stairs, on both sides on top of the red stink weight block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood half slab. Continuing on, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair on both sides like that, with a row of three of green stink clay in between them. We then want to place down a second row of three of green stink clay, followed by a dark oak wood corner stair on both sides. On the back here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair in the middle here, followed by a dark oak wood corner stair like that on both sides. After we have that done, we're going to place down a zombie head come off that dark oak wood stair like so. With that all done, we want to go ahead and then grab ourselves some dark oak wood fence gates. Uh, we're going to go ahead and place down one right here on top, come off this corner stair, and then one like that. We're going to have these all opened up as well. Now, when it comes to this point right here, we may need to break this trip bar hook. You probably actually will. And then we're going to place down our, our uh, fence post on top of a block, delete that block, and then we're going to place our trip bar hook. Uh, just the way if Minecraft works, so you're probably going to have to delete that tripwire hook and uh, do the same thing on both sides here. And then just go ahead and replace it and you'll be good to go. And then on this corner stair here, and like that, just like we did um, previously. And once you have that all done, that's going to do it for uh, layer 5. And with that, we'll move on to our last final layers here, which are basically going to be layer 6, 7, 8, and 9. We're going to put the turret on the top and um, pretty much all the little additional details and pretty much finish this build off. So with that, let's move on to our last final layers. Alright guys, so going ahead and moving on to our next layers, we have pretty much our final layers, uh, layers 6 through 9. So for these layers, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by going to these green stake plate blocks on the top here. We're going to place down a half slab like this on both sides basically. Now coming off the slab here on the right side, we're going to go ahead and basically place our turret or our uh, MG mounted on top here on the right side. So for this, we're going to place down an anvil like this, followed by an upside down narrow brick stair followed by an brick top slab coming off of it, and then an end rod like so. Now coming off the uh, side here, that's an brick stair over to the right, we're going to place down a dark oak with top slab. On top of the gun itself, on top of the stair, we're going to place down a um, zombie head like that, followed by a redstone repeater on top of this uh, brick top slab. And on top of the dark oak with top slab here, we're going to place down a green carpet like that. Once you have that done, over here on this side, uh, we're going to place down a dark or a skeleton skull, or I'm sorry, a zombie head on top of this dark oak with uh, stair like that. After you have that done, we're going to take our buttons, place down a row of three on the center here just for a bit of detailing. And then on top of this uh, dark oak wood stair here, we're also going to place down a uh, skeleton skull like so on top there. Again, more detailing. Now, the last thing we want to do is just go ahead and grab ourselves an iron bar. And on top of this dark oak wood stair here, we're going to place down one, two, three, and four iron bars going up like that for, of course, the radio antenna. And once you guys have that all done, that's going to basically do it for the WZ111. Uh, model 1 through 4 heavy tank. Uh, pretty awesome build. I love the way it came out. And again, it's awesome. We finally have a Chinese uh, build, build on this uh, 
map i don't i have uh, pretty much at this point in time i've never done a tutorial for um a chinese tank on this tutorial world so that's pretty crazy and pretty awesome so uh welcome the chinese to our uh uh you know world of uh vehicles and all that stuff anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching this uh, this uh tutorial if you guys did enjoy uh you know of course be sure to leave the video a like if you do end up using this build though i do have to say you guys give me proper credit for it this main thing from the side of the build to a link to my channel or this video if there's any social media sites just be sure your proper credit for the build that's all i ask for when doing these tutorials it helps my channel grow and it keeps me inspired to continue on posting so again if you do uh, use the vehicle i just asked you, you give me credit and as long as you guys do you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on and other than that guys thank you guys so much for watching as always don't forget to like comment and subscribe this is Miguel 2 before and i'll see you guys next time